Yeah, okay. Um, tonight, we will be playing the sequel to the game I played a few nights ago. Milk outside of a bag of milk. Outside, well, milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. Which is a sequel to milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. So I'm going to turn up the volume here. This is a quiet stream tonight, you know. So I'm going to be talking very quietly. I'm going to replay the intro as I did the original version before. You know, I played it then on the uh, previous stream, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Under the same name as this Twitch channel. Pax Maximum. Okay. Alright, it seems everything's going smoothly. I just hope that uh, if it's not, I will figure it out. Let me turn up the game on this a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. That should work. Mm hmm. Desktop audio seems to be a little too loud, so I'm turning that down. Right there. That should be fine. Alright. All right. Here we are. I am. I've been excited to play this one. Um, slightly more to it than the first one, uh, considering the amount of time that was given to it. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Uh, hopeful. I really do hope that uh, everything's coming out all right on y'all's end. Keep this up a little bit high and then turn this up. Oh, I, I can't tell. I, I think some of my settings have changed since last time, so I'm gonna... Here we go. I'm gonna move my mic closer, right? Then, uh, uh you know, so I'm right here. And then turn the game audio up just a tad. Right here should be fine. I'm looking at the uh, little levels here. They seem about equal, so we're good. New game. all over the walls and the ceiling. One of these shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. 
Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to her bed. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. First thought is that there's a living room. There's a living corpse blowing in through the keyhole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that. break into a run and dash toward the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I whip my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's no somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No. No, no. I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. As I expected, there's no living corpse inside. But there was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with his unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what expectedly, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. I meet a familiar, formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again, I stare questioningly into the monster's bombless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hand until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all. I've promised so many times. Stay put. The moment it says that its claws pierces my arm, I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. The white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but... Why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzed every single cell, while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from my pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it 
it throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I tried to imprint where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need... A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in the instant. Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. I... Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away as if somebody finished fished them out of my head one after another one after another till nothing was left oops and now I have to sleep again even though I don't feel any need for it after Finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately, since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. Now I want to have a better look at it, to twirl it between my fingers, chew on it. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film. I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside here? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. Press harder, and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid floats out. Filthy, filthy. The pill flies straight to the waste bin. I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There were some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead, and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey. My heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. 
I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyways. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? Hey. Hey, long time no see. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. There you go bullying me again. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've already been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. Alright. I'll stay silent until the medicine effects wears off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. Hey, Twisted Bark, welcome back. Yeah, long time no see. It did take a few days, but I'm back. Which is better than I usually do. So I guess we're lucky with that. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. With you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. I can imagine how angry you are right now. Hmm. What made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Stop lying. Nuh-uh. I still don't understand. Whatever. Unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic, snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. Feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast. Not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go and wash your face. Then we'll decide what to do with you. Ugh. I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling, but then me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile. Bears her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. I wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared. Two by two squared. A square squared. A square pyramid squared. Pyramidal structure cubed. Your middle structure hypercube. I feel better, but my head is splitting apart now. How do you feel? You're mocking me, right? If you say so. What happened? Nothing, it's just... I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. It's 
Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? Yes. Somehow I find it hard to believe. Why did you do that? I felt like I was able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at that time. Now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. You know what to do. Eject it and reach out for the shelf of my medicine. Swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worse in my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. Toss the last pill in the air and catch it with my mouth. buy a carton of milk? I, in the U.S., um, most milk is in cartons or in plastic gallons, which is where I'm from, but I do know in other places they're in um, bags of milk, so I just assume that's what was going on here. It, has she been saying carton of milk this whole time? Because I, I guess I, that just went over my head if, it, if she has. Really? Are they really stunned by that? Because I just... It's not that confusing. I thought that was pretty well known by now that other people have bags of milk. Huh. Oh well. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. It's fair enough. Are you from Russia? Alright, cool. Yeah, no, I mean... So do you have a carton of milk and you just call the bags in? Cause I do... So... I don't know where exactly, um, but I know many places do just have bags of milk. We we don't in the U.S. Um, but this, is, this would be new to me if you did still have cartons and just called them bags. Okay, yeah. The creator of the game is Russian. Okay, I didn't know that either. I should do more research on the game, but like... You 
interesting. ceiling is bound to collapse. It won't be today. Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. I carefully extract my thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in the order of rows. Now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Ooh. I don't even have to blink before my thoughts, like fireflies now, start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. Canada, India, Israel, Russia, and a lot of Latin American countries, Eastern Europe, block in general, and back to Melbourne. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew pretty much, I knew a lot of places did it. I, I knew Canada did it. Um, I don't know why that didn't come to mind before. I knew Canada for sure did it. I, it doesn't seem that crazy of a concept to me. It's weird that a lot of people get so confused about it. I mean, shoot, even like, in KFC here, if you get some, like, lemonade, you know, you can buy, like, bags of lemonade. It's not that crazy of a concept. But I've seen people just like, what? Nah, I don't know. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start losing my patience. Enough! I hate you! Hmm. I spring to my free feet to the I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? Yes. And you, what do you want me to do then? I don't know. It's up to you. You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. I've changed my mind anyways. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. For Forget about them and go to bed. No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts, or else... I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide. In. They can be anywhere. Oh. But suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already. I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please, tell me you will help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. 
that's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... Oh. Oh, Jesus. I roll my sleeve and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another, my eyes stop itching. I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another, all my eyelashes, one after another. If I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass and then... Then I need to have a bath and then... Here, drink some milk. Oh. I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alright then, so when you find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything, even an inch? Yeah. I can get those people's confusion, those U.S. enormous plastic milk jugs looking, looking eerie to me. My brain automatically concludes, why'd they put a bleach bottle in the fridge? See, I've never seen it as that way either, but, you know, I, I guess, yeah, if you see someone doing something different from what you do, that you've always seen as normal, I guess that's just how it is. But, um, you know, like, after a certain time, I just feel like I'm, like, uh, well. I mean, of course they do it differently. <laughs> They're on the other side of the planet for me. Why would they do what I'm doing the exact same way I do it? You know, it's, it's with a lot of things, you know. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. And I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. What about the thing you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. You wanna know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I also keep changing my mind and up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You do what you want. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of white and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowee. Wowee.
guitar in this game is really pretty. I love it. I carefully grab the firefly. It pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was in order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. Hmm. This is eerie. I feel like if they would be anywhere, they'd be like up here. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging up to the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. At all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even a little spit. Not even a smidgen of a little spit. Not even for a thousandth of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From the moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no, you don't. Then act normal. That was kind of mean. Okay, we're gonna have to find something else then, I guess. Can't choose the same one, huh? Uh, okay. Uh huh, and that might be a clue. Oh, and how do I want to escape, right? Oh god, I hate that. I hate that circle. Ugh. I, it's safe. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I can't click on it. Okay, never mind. Okay, try the, um... What's this book here? This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'd still be good for a couple of years. You draw that rarely? Why? Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get to the stationery, stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Well, maybe you can ask your mom. Nah, eh, that's probably not a good idea. No, I'll just, yeah. I get closer to the sketchbook. Stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. To my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. Squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh, let's not go there, okay? I stand up and study the sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page. The way it should be. Too bad. I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no! I shut my eyes. The distinctive sound of pages turning echoes with head headache in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped, even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look. If I wait a little longer, if I wait... Open your eyes. No. It's okay. Just do it. No way. I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. 
fine. I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know. Did you? You're a smart one here, you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you... I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it. I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder. The pages lift up and almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way. Everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look. Look there. A barely visible light. Ugh, I'm gonna restart that one. Barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly. The wind immediately stops. For a moment, the world sinks into perfect silence. Only for a moment. The buzz that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings. But it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy. You made me so scared. The firefly blinks, flies up in, and enters my ears, buzzing loudly all the way. I spend some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then its buzzing dies down. Phew. Are you okay? We're running short on time, so let's continue searching. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I can't click on that still. I wonder why. I wonder what these notes are about. Individual notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Yeah. I thought you knew know them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, is it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing. It's more like claw marks. Don't forget to sh thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My scream makes the pages rustle re restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears. Ugh! Oh my god, I'm so drunk. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight up entering my business like ear. Hey. Let's continue searching. Give me the plants. Right. Insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shell. I sniff around. The least smell of dust and cardboard. And death. You know those plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? Alright. How about the school bag? I look down, my school bag, worn down and silly, it's almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mush mushy substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Senseless and cool. You are there, but I don't care. Is it me you're laughing at? What? I'd never. After all, you're not my pet. I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore. Got it. Got it. Hey, it was on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. I'm taking out all the pens and notebooks out there. I'm not interested in anything else. Hmm. 
You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. Alright, alright. What did you like the most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms were really bright. Not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me. Let me remember. The beds were also soft. Food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes. The others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. I never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember the last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. Told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner, went to our rooms. And what happened then? I don't remember. Does it even matter? God, that's eerie. I love it. Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Please? Oh, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he, what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greased us We had dinner together and we went to our separate rooms. Satisfied? What happens if I keep doing that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue for now. I'll probably come back to that. Maybe stay on the save screen for a little longer. Oh, gee, oh my God, it's moving. That's good, you know. I, I, this game really doesn't go for the huge jump scares. So I don't know why I was expecting that. And we're back to this. Is, is it, is it like that forever? No, it just okay. It resets. All right, good. I look at my bag again. Light pouring into the room through the window glints on the metal parts. There's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real. Sadly. Whatever. I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just any time I do anything horror related, it's just that's how I, I get so tense and just the expectation that something is going to get me. You know, I that's why I hate. Like I say, I hate. But I actually love like what this game does so far with all of its like 
creepy faces or like just disturbing imagery is that it makes me tense without actually making me jump like those games do because that gets boring after a while but that always disturbs me I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time if I move e e even an inch the whole picture will collapse I don't go blind it's already happened countless times what do you mean you'll go blind? I spent months memorizing the location of every item in the, my room, so I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that small insect is crawling toward me from my bag. It's barely glowing. It can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. Firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it, and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies toward me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to answer my ear. Exit the F. That's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while, then goes silent. This one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure. Let's continue searching. Oh. Oh no, I'm I'm gonna keep going. We're not stopping there. Uh tell me what's the story of this one? I look up toward a very high place under my ceiling. I don't like the music. This implies something bad's gonna happen. I hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We'd better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be in there? Have you forgotten? You're the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They become fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupy this place. Do you understand now? I, I actually do, so yeah, I do. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna avoid that. I want to make the radio. Huh. What about this one? is my favorite song. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Hmm. I insist. I remember how I appeared in my room. And my parents probably borrowed it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to use so. it. Sure, I spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had a music hobby. Yeah, I did. E for entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives on the ground. You have everything for a comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagine. Alright, so you're a hamster that lives on the ground. You have everything for a comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives... Okay. I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. Fine. Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's bank grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I'd see that myself. If only I knew that. It looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it says. What it wants to say. No, what does it mean? 
firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if coming back, back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions. Then flies up and dashes into my ears. Let's continue searching. I'm gonna save again real quick. There we go. Alright. This is another radio. Can I turn all of them on? Oh, okay, just, okay, yeah. I see what it does. Alright, so we got pills, toothpaste, um, alarm clock, this thing, a uh, vent, and fan. Oh, and pictures. Or whatever these are. And what are those? Ah, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're blank. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes. <laughs> now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it. Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. No, okay. Oh, it's sleeping then. Okay, fan. Four hours long, huh? Okay, interesting. They really packed the lines to this one. <laughs> What's funny about that? I imagine myself being a firefly that is looking straight at a giant fan. And? I'd be so jealous. The only thing that's preventing it from flying is a cage it's locked in. And the cable. It's like an inmate, if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Alright, okay. Uh... Vent. It's not easy to get out of here. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Okay. Uh, this one. Ooh. I doubt it. All of the compartments are locked. What is it? I even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. Okay. Uh, toothpaste. Turn my eyes toward my an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it. A small tower is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They'd never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. Okay, let's look somewhere else. Oh, jeez, oh my god. Ah! Uh, the sound just like I forgot that was a thing. All right, pill bottles. I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless! I could have died. Hey, calm down. You already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh, come closer, and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns, and the pills rain down from it, and along with them. A firefly! Hooray! Just so curling above my head a couple times, it finally lands in my palm. A firefly rushes up my arm, and upon reaching my shoulder, crawls straight into my ear. Oh, that was just me. Okay. Okay. I thought the I thought I was forcing my mouse to be down here for some reason, but nope. I just had my mouse in a weird spot. Uh. Okay. I think we got it all. Other than, oh, trash, trash can and an umbrella. Uh. Let's do umbrella first. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder it's the only thing that defends me against the thunder clouds that gather under my ceiling. Such a blessing that I can do without it, my help. 
Still, Firefly won't hide in a place like that. It'll catch a cold and be unable to fly. Alright, let's continue searching. That's solid... That's solid logic right there. Trash can. I get close to the weed spin and look inside it with curious curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you here. Alright. Uh, alarm clock. Bed. Uh, demon pile, I guess. No, no, no. Okay. Here we go. Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient in that regard. Well, only if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. Hmm. Look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out the theatric yawn and hold out my arms to the sides. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I think I has a stance. What was it? Wheels together? Toes apart? Whatever. I'll go with that. Count down. Five minutes. Fine. You will have a clock right in front of you, though. You can't look at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think? What a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it. Do you see the firefly? N no? Let's continue searching then. Okay. Anything else I'm missing? Any tiny, itty bitty, any little, little nooks, little crannies I'm not touching. We got bed and demon pile. Secrets, secrets. Whatever, okay. This is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. You'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items. Close your eyes and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return myself to the senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now, I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. Nah, my thoughts don't have a feature of playing to sleep. Quite the contrary. They always cause insomnia, just like tonight. What? I said searching here is meaningless. click on that still. Let's listen to this a little bit more. Is this different than the one before? Makes me think of when they, uh, up and it just starts repeating. Okay, so they do change every time you turn them off and on. And that's
that's just terrifying. Okay. Yeah, we're done with that. He found all the fireflies. Amazing. I guess... Oh. I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and we find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes is all. A zero sum. When happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go to the balcony. Breathe in some air. Somehow those words triggered the panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. Alright, let's stay here. Yeah. What are you going to do? What's with the silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. I think that tomorrow will only come after a year, or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my normal shell, but at the same time still being with me? Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk. Ah, they said, they said the thing. And yet, and yet, you don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill. Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow, and never ever. That's a goodbye then? No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? I blared out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't want to blame you. I don't blame you. But was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I won't be able to sleep like this. Fine. What's the favor? I, um... I nervously scratch my wrists and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes! I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop. I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you! sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You don't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with that at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know. It was a joke. Well anyways, I wash my face, brush my teeth, lie down, and start imagining what I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always looked sleepy in the morning. After a look of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters falling in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in these unexpected places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know? But one day, I almost died. As collapsed in the middle of the room, I couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, letters, and eyes were hanging over me. It was horrible. And well deserved, I guess. I felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yeah, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. The silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always fall on my way, peeping at me. I'm kind of scared of them. Can't even argue with them. But today? Today? Well? I... Still too scared to tell me? Of course! They're still listening, you know? Use your hands. 
All right. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax. Nobody can hear you. But what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Hmm. Fine. Close your eyes. Here. I wake up on a wooden bench. From me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. Oh. I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Um, who are you? The boy blinks at me. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very long, a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him, confused. He stares back, also confused. S sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the brat an evaluating look. He's so young, yet yeah, already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. I'm not like... It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Hmm. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Tresca says that and strikes a victory pose. No way I'm doing that. You do not understand. That refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird. Constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, silence. He's a wacko. His name is stupid. Are we going or what? You can go, and I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresca puts on a cunning smile, and by my lower lip in frustration. I'll be honest with you, I don't like you. I simply burst out laughing in reply. I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. Thanks for, yeah, I, yeah, I was wondering what that said, and, you know, I, I, they did a good job with the, um, translation of the text. I did, I did understand that, though. Thanks for, thanks for offering that. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Ah. Uh, and what's your name? None of your business. Slapped the living hell out of the brat. But a scary looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a cardboard sign that says, We're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go, where are you waiting for? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I remember this. After another round of going across. 
across a long row of canned products, we realize that we're lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, um, maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Hey, wait up. Cheska lets go of my hand and walks confidently toward one of the few store's customers. That person is standing with their back to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello, can I... I can't hear neither, neither. Ugh. I can't hear neither the second part of his question, nor the reply he gets. My good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry toward them. Is he yours? The customer talks to me, speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, um, if he's yours, please get him away from me. It, yes, I'm sorry. I grab Cheska's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer, his mouth ajar, and eyes popped. He's also shaking. Only when we turn around the corner, Cheska calms down. What was that? I, I got so scared. He said, what? No, not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? Y you don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying other people is still wrong, though. There's something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Who, me? Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Drat. At the edge of my vision, I see the store staff hang a new sign on the door. There you are. Or, there you are. I met Tresca at the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you. Move. I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of the long queue that has formed after Tresca. I squeeze through toward him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is it yours? Yes. We'll just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the waiting fee. What? What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Cheska starts giggling all of a sudden. Go for the fact that you're silent. Okay, I can't, I'm not gonna say that. For the fact that your son is a, a person who, but, but, you heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a bank note to the cashier of a much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees. Then grab a bill, bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Tresca. spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right toward a gas station. There, Tresca finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. The light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You know? He turns away from the path and walks straight toward the highway with determination. He stares back, confused. helping me at all. Oh no. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Oh.
thanks, Dad, for helping out with the programming. Wow, that is incredible. I'm so glad I played that. And I, there's probably more. There's probably a bit more, right? Maybe not a whole other ending. Dialectic. Good job. Four more endings. Damn, okay, I gotta play this again sometime. Yeah, and... Okay, I got the default one. That's what I thought. It seemed about right. It seemed about the straight and narrow path. Yeah, so... I guess the, de the deal with the word is probably with translation. Though I, I could see it being more of a, um, it hitting harder that it's using that word as opposed to something small like idiot. But, you know, I'm not an artist. I don't, I don't have any info on that. And I'm not going to say it, so. I'm not going to be mad that the game used to either. That's it's how it is. But man, I love that. What a great experience. I know I'm not finished with it. And with four more endings, I'll probably play it on stream again. Um, but I mean, that was great. I love that. There's definitely something with the... Uh, so, I wonder if something happens if you don't get all the fireflies. And then that little uh, glitching pile that you can click on. And then there's probably some other things you can do there, too. But, um, I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. Um, yeah, thank you, Twisted Bark. I really appreciate you being on here, tell, giving me the rundown of, of things, you know. Uh, you've really enhanced this experience for me. I mean, it sounds like I missed, with four endings, I... I can't imagine there being only little secrets. There's gotta be a whole lot more. I'm glad you are, you know, and, uh, again, I'll be posting all of these on YouTube. This one I might cut a little bit at the beginning and ends of the stream, so that's a little more streamlined for a video watching experience. But, uh, you know. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Let me just meet this. All right, thank you for joining me. Thank you for uh, giving me all that info. You've been really helpful. Um, I uploaded the previous VOD onto the channel. If you want to go look at that. Um, otherwise, you know, like I said before, I don't have a set streaming schedule, so I I, I play when I play. Yeah, you have a good night too. Uh, thanks for joining. And with that, I'm going to end the stream. See you later.